Hi, I'm Dr. Nitin. In the previous two videos, we learned about various leads on an ECG and also learned the different methods to calculate heart rate in both regular and irregular rhythms. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to identify left bundle branch block in an electrocardiogram. This is the ECG of a 48 year old male patient. This ECG is not normal. We'll try to find out whether this patient has left bundle branch block or right bundle branch block. First of all, we'll understand the criteria for left bundle branch block. Then we'll try to apply these criteria in our ECG. First, the duration of QRS complex should be more than 120 milliseconds. Second, small Q waves which are normally present in lateral leads would be absent in case of left bundle branch block. Third, V1 would show monomorphic large S waves. However, sometimes small R wave may also be seen before larger S wave. And fourth and final criteria is that lateral leads will show broad monomorphic notched or slurred R waves. Coming back to our ECG. Here we can see that QRS duration is more than 120 milliseconds. It is almost 160 milliseconds. This ECG has small R waves and large S waves in B1. Q waves are absent in lateral leads which are B5, B6, 1 and AVL. As you can see there are no Q waves in these leads. And finally, lateral leads also show broad monomorphic or predominant R waves with so some slurring as well. After fulfilling all the criteria of left bundle branch block, now we can confidently say that this patient has left bundle branch block in his ECG. I would like to add one more point here. If ECG fulfills all the criteria of left bundle branch block, except that QRS duration is less than 120 milliseconds, then it is called incomplete left bundle branch block. This was a simple method to identify whether ECG shows left bundle branch block or not. Thank you for watching this video.